And that's real talk. <laughs> What's good, Real Talk TV? It's your girl, Prison. We are back at it again on the channel. If it's your first time stopping to the channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy financial content that may be valuable to you. Also, too, this is a disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is only for entertainment and educational purposes only. So without further ado, let's just get in the video. You guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about Navy Federal's flagship credit card. This is one of Navy Federal's high tier credit card that you can possibly get up to eighty thousand dollars and a minimum balance you can have on this credit card is five thousand dollars or more from your previous credit card now some people don't know this but you can have at least three flagship credit cards and the maximum credit limit through all three credit cards must equal up to eighty thousand. so that's the only catch with that but however you can have at least three flagship credit cards now, some data points to consider with this credit card is, is a $49 annual fee. However, with Navy Federal, you don't have any type of fees with it. So no balance transfer, foreign transaction, cash advances, things of that nature. Also too, right now, Navy Federal is having a promotion where if you spend at least $4,000 with them 90 days, then you're gonna earn 40K bonus points. And they also too throwing in a free year of Amazon Prime. You also too be earning points along the way with this credit card. You'll be earning three times the points when traveling, two times the points on everything else. And you'll also be earning statement credits up to $100 for global entry or TSAs. APR that you'll be looking at if you was to get this card is 14.74% through 18%. Now keep in mind too, you guys, that they will be pulling from TransUnion, FICO 9. And FICO 9 is basically the score model in which Navy Federal takes in consideration when approving you or not approving you for certain products and services. If you want a credit limit increase, they will be pulling from Equifax, FICO 9. And one of the things I recommend y'all doing before getting this card is that you pre-approve for the card so basically you can go online and it has a pre-qualify uh, tab and you'll just click on that and then just see whether or not you know your chances for getting this card is high or not because one thing you don't want to do is just go ahead and try to apply for something you're not sure that you're able to get and then you risk getting a hard inquiry on your credit report so yeah i recommend y'all highly uh pre-qualifying for the card first my subscribers that know straight off bad you know you feel like you're not gonna get approved for this card don't get discouraged that's rule of thumb right there and not only that you know first thing first you have to be a member with navy federal and once you get into the doors with navy federal just fruit for thought just keep building that internal score which is basically um kind of like a track record of your history and relationship with navy federal build up that activity with them and what i mean by that like getting some credit cards that's not the flagship get try some of their other products and services like their personal loans the the pledge loans and things of that nature and i promise you your chances of getting the flagship credit card will be higher than you know where you at now because one thing about navy federal they are willing to give anyone a chance of getting a flagship credit card and any other products and services that they have because they are the the house of high limits and one thing about navy fair they're willing to work with anybody they don't look at credit score so yeah just fruitful thought y'all and that's what i highly suggest if you're not able to get approved for this card like straight off bat so yeah if y'all found value in this video today do me a favor and hit that like button it really helps our youtube algorithm and i gladly appreciate that from y'all um also too drop in the comments below if you have this car and how's your experience with this car as well and as always i appreciate y'all for tuning in on the channel but until next time i'll see y'all later peace